Mythical sea creatures. For centuries, they've been the stuff of legend. And while the search for Scotland's famed Loch Ness Monster goes on, elsewhere, a new breed of high-tech sea creatures is found stalking our seas. This tech can be found in the fjords of Norway. Here, a six-meter snake-like robot called Eloom is undergoing testing. With its bright red eyes, it is set to live and work on the bottom of the seafloor. There, it will carry out inspections and maintenance of oil and gas installations. It can swim up to 20 kilometers at a time and use a sonar navigation. Once it detects an anomaly, it can analyze it with its cameras. What's very good about the, the Elum is that it's a, it's a hovering AOV. So if it detects some anomaly uh, along the uh, pipeline, it can stop and move closer and gather more close-up data before continuing along the pipeline. When its work is done, Elum returns to its docking station where it plugs into a system that feeds the information back to a control room on shore. Elum is fully autonomous. The operator will, it will plan a mission for the robot which is residing in the docking station. The mission will be defined and uploaded to the robot in the docking station. Then the robot will move uh, out from the docking and carry out the task. Elum's modular Lego-like brick design allows the robot to plug into batteries and other modules which attach to its body. With its batteries intact, it can add other modules to build its snake-like structure. Attachments like a sonar navigation system, cameras, and cutting or inspection tools. Inspection and maintenance capability permanently available near the subsea equipment. It uh, increases safety because you can at any time inspect the subsea infrastructure. It reduces uh, the need for uh, costly surface vessels. Elum is among a number of drones and robots being developed for the deep sea maintenance and inspection sectors. It's a business that's set to grow to more than $7 billion by 2025, according to market intelligence company Fior Markets. Among those looking to use Elum is Norwegian oil and gas giant Equinor. It will benefit Equinor in many different ways. First of all, it will reduce our cost by using a very cheaper method to do maintenance and repair. And then we will put people, instead of being Offshore, we put them onshore on control room. That is kind of a bit safer to be in onshore than offshore. Tall tales of mythical monsters will no doubt continue to stalk our dreams. But while they do, a new breed of mechanical creature will silently be going about their work at the bottom of the sea. Mm -hmm.